We're going to start off with the housing report. All right, uh, what we're looking at here is a very simple graph. This is from Showing Time. This is a service that a lot of the top agents like us use to have other agents book showings. It allows us to do a lot of tracking, a lot of follow-up, stuff like that. So this is a national service. We're looking at the numbers from California, all right? So what you're seeing there in the gray line, that is 2019 in terms of the percentage of either increased or decreased showing requests, all right? This is all zeroed off the first week in January of that year. So you can see that as we've gone through the first six months in 2019, there was a definitive increase in the number of showings. And you can see that in California, it de definitely picked up right into that end of March timeframe, definitely into where we currently are, but back in 2019, all right? Makes sense. What happened this year? Let's get an update on this, all right? So here is everything leading into the coronavirus, pretty much right on track, right? From here, the coronavirus came and we were very much off track. It's very obvious, everything came to a stop. Now, here's where we are. Updated graph, we are absolutely back. The number of buyers that are out right now, outstanding number, right? So those of you that are out looking, good job. The competition's there, right? You're gonna have multiple offer situations, especially in some of the, some of the nicer areas, let's say within San Diego. All right, so home sellers, the buyers are here. They're out looking. They need something to buy. So let's see what else we got. This is a graph with purchase applications. So this is uh, loan applications. We know that towards the end of March, we were down. It bottomed out at a 35% decrease right around April 8th. And we see where we currently are. The number of applications for a mortgage has increased tremendously. That's more wonderful news. All right, so here is uh, Zillow's June report, right? A couple of weeks ago, we went over the May report. Now we have the June report that's going through all the May data, right? So nationally speaking, new pending sales, meaning an offer was accepted into escrow, up 24.5% from the month prior, right? So this is from April. The new listings taken, up 19.3% very much ex exactly what we expected, right? We knew April was gonna be down. Everybody hit the pause button, more or less. Now having the full data set for May, we see the increase that we have had through the month of May nationally. What about California? San Diego County in particular. So this is again, looking at the May data, new pending listings up 26.5%, new listings taken up 38.3%. San Diego County is cooking. That is the best thing that we can say about it. Now, let's take a look at what the data has for the first seven days of the month of June. Pending sales, 908. New listings, 696. Homes are being snapped up by buyers here faster than they are coming on the market, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a home buyer, that's real world competition and it's not even heated up yet, right? You give it another two, three weeks, that's when it's gonna start getting real warm. We get into July, into the middle of July, it is going to be cooking there. We are expecting on a million dollar property in Carmel Valley, probably no less than 10 to 15 offers, all right? So if you are looking to buy, now is the time to get in the game. You need to start re-interviewing your agents you need to get on the phone. You need to do your due diligence and find the best agent that you can that represents you. There's agents that are lucky to buy or sell three or four homes a year. That's your normal agent in San Diego. You have agent teams like the Wanamo Group and like mine that are buying and selling over a hundred homes a year. Based off simply, that's our level of experience here at the Wanamo Group. All right. So what is this looking like in terms of a projection for the month of June? Homes are going faster than they're coming on. Right? That is a potential issue for home buyers, home sellers. You guys thought of moving up, moving down? Buyers are there. The buyers are there. All right, so here's the updated, a newer graph, let's say, of projected home pricing. All right, so we're looking at six different sources. So the Home Price Expectation Survey, Mortgage Bankers Association, Zellman Associates, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and the National Association of Realtors. So this is the projection of appreciation rates. All right, so for 2020, 
The home price expectation survey is projecting a negative 0.32% depreciation. Other than that, nothing negative on here. The best appreciation rate projection for 2020 comes from the Mortgage Bankers Association, 4.3%. As we get into 2021, we see that now everything is positive, right? Home expectation survey is now positive. Everything else is remaining positive. The only ones that are really coming down on this right, is going to be the Mortgage Bankers Association and the uh, NAR, right? So if we take a look, Zellman and Associates, that tends to be the leading indicator, or not the leading indicator, but the leading projection uh, for 2021 and 2022. So we're going from 3% projected in 2020, this is at the end of the year, all the way to 4.2 in 2021, 4.6 in 2022, right? You can see the graph there. If you guys want more detailed information about what some of the others are projecting, call, text, or email. We'll be more than happy to get that info to you guys. All right, so what is the average economic impact of one home sale in the United States? All right, the answer is nationally, it adds, it's $88,416 to the economy, local economy, or nationally it would be, that's your average, right? Looking at California specifically, it adds $171,000 to the local economy, right? This is why one of the reasons that I've been saying for the last eight weeks or longer, quite frankly, housing is in a position to lead the recovery. This is one of the main reasons of why, right? Now we have some quantifiable numbers for you guys. All right, if we take a look at the breakdown of it, right? Income generated from real estate industries, 24,471 is the total impact. Add that up to expenditure related purchases for the home, it's another $4,600. Add that to a multiplier of housing related expenditures, anything that goes into the house, other, other supplemental things, $14,000. New home construction, $45,000. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the math with what a sale of a home is doing for the economy. All right. So NAR calculated the total economic impact of real estate related industries on the state economy, as well as the expenditures that result from a single home sale, including aspects like home construction costs, real estate brokerage, mortgage lending, and title insurance. All right. This is the this is what is putting the housing market in position to lead this recovery. All right, so here's a new Gallup poll that just came out. Really good news. Real estate at 35% remains the most favored investment to Americans, as has been the case since 2013 when the housing market was on the rebound. More than a third of Americans have named real estate as the top investment in 2016. All right, so what is that looking like? All right, on the left, Real estate at 35%, stocks at 21, savings accounts at 17%, gold at 16%. That's the Gallup poll. When we take a look at the graph on the right, that's been the fluctuation since 2011. We see that Americans have had a tremendous amount of confidence in housing, far more so than either stocks, savings accounts, or gold. Right? There's the data for you, ladies and gentlemen, right there. All right, so this is looking at a concentric analytics study, non-financial benefits of home ownership. All right, we've covered the financial ones. Here's the non-financial. 93% of the people polled said owning a home made them happier. I'm down with being happier. 88% agreed that buying a home made them, uh, buying a home was the best decision they've ever made. I like making good decisions. 79% believed owning a home has changed them for the better. Thinking about buying? 